so you're still on the bench about this plan demonic that they have planned for many 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 years you're still on the bench you're still unsure you think this is all a coincidence okay these people are evil they put it in our faces because they know that one we do not read we do not research we just take what they give us we take what they feed us and I'm just saying we to kind of like the blow for you guys because those of us over this side we are woke we are enlightened we are educated and we know what's really happening behind the scenes in front of the scenes in every aspect but this video that I'm about to play is for you you that's still on the bench that's still trying to figure out still trying to decide whether this is evil or this is just our government's caring for us and doing the right thing that's why in the word it says they shall call good evil and evil good watch this video share it to all that may be doubtful and let them see for themselves it's a short video that's all I'm going to say. We are exposing the devil on this side. What are you doing? Know that I love you. The Lord loves you. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Text was taken from an interview in a 1981 book by Michel Salomon. The book is called Le Avenir de la Vie. And this was while he was the special political advisor of the French president. Now tell me... If this sounds familiar, it says in the book, he, uh, he must have been asked a question about depopulation or something like that. He says, in the future, it will be a question of finding a way to reduce the population. We will start with the old because as soon as he exceeds 60 to 65 years, man lives longer than he produces and it costs society dearly. Then the weak, then the useless ones who bring nothing to society because there will be more and more of them, and especially, finally, the stupid ones. Euthanasia targeting these groups. Euthanasia will have to be an essential instrument of our future societies in all cases. We will, of course, not be able to execute people or organize camps. We will get rid of them by making them believe that it is for their own good. Too large a population, and for the most part unnecessary, is something economically too expensive. Socially, it is also much better for the human machine to come to an abrupt halt rather than gradually deteriorating. We won't be able to pass intelligence tests on millions and millions of people, you can imagine. We will find something, or cause it, a pandemic that targets certain people, a real economic crisis or not, a virus that will affect the old and the weak. It doesn't matter. The weak will succumb to it. The fearful and the stupid will believe it and ask to be treated. We will have taken care to have planned the treatment, a treatment that will be the solution. The selection of idiots will thus be done by itself. They will go to the slaughterhouse on their own. So, yeah, is this how the elite of the world think? Again, this was from a book in 1981. And this was said by the special advisor of the French president, who was in that role for 10 years.